Well, three lifelong Philadelphia Eagles fans from Hawaii returned back to the islands early this morning, still buzzing over Philly's win over the Patriots in Super Bowl 52. But that's not the only reason they're flying high. They return home with a one of a kind Super Bowl memento. Adam Morse was in heaven this past Sunday, and for good reason. He lived in Philadelphia in the early 90s when his mom attended law school there, so his loyalty goes way back. He says as soon as the Eagles clinched the NFC championship, he and his two brothers booked their flights and found a room in Minneapolis. Then after scrambling for tickets, a friend who works for the Chargers came through with front row end zone seats at face value, no less, still pricey at 2100 bucks each. But their investment turned to gold after Philadelphia's LeGarrette Blunt scampered 21 yards for the touchdown to make it 15-3 Eagles. Scored the touchdown, everyone's going crazy, and I saw through the phone, I saw him spike the ball, and I looked up, and the thing was coming right at me, and it was coming, it seemed like 200 miles an hour right at me, and I was going to catch it real clean, but I had my two brothers next to me, they were going crazy, um, my brother that was two seats over, reached, he went for the ball, my older brother that was next to me, he didn't know what was going on, but they both got in my way, and the ball was coming, and it just slipped right through my hands, I thought, I thought it was gone forever. Um, but the guy in back of me, I guess he had uh, bad, bad hands like me. He fumbled it too, and it came right back to me, and then I wasn't letting that thing go for sure. Well, the NFL provided about 100 official game balls for the contest. This is the only ball that wound up in the stands, becoming an instant and highly coveted souvenir. People offered me thousands of dollars. Um, one guy uh, offered me his credit card and said, this is yours, go spend whatever you want on it. Um, but honestly, there, there's no price I would have taken to, to give this thing up. So the prize possession will be officially retired, sealed up in a glass case, never to be played with again. But not before one final play. All right, Howard, you got to promise not to drop this one for me. Yeah, it was the catcher at UH, right? All right, all right, let's see. I trust you, I trust you. Oh, oh there we go. Oh! I won't spike it. I won't spike it. There you go. Awesome. You almost right. gave him a heart attack. I know. I spike it. It ends up in P.E. Coy Street. A bus runs over it. <laughs> that no, wouldn't have been good. Would not have done that. By the way, he did reach out to LeGarrette Blunt, who scored the touchdown on Instagram. He hasn't heard back, but he says even if LeGarrette wants his touchdown ball back, it's going to cost him some big bucks, maybe something like two season tickets for life. That would be nice. Yeah. Hope it works out. Either way, winning. Great, great story. Yeah.